Hello, here is another of the top 10 reasons why more and more people are feeling optimistic about Earth's bright future, and their own. From the book, The Earthling Alien Chatroom. Reason number five. We are on the brink of seeing total removal of race as a factor on our planet Earth. Never mind the, if it bleeds, it leads state of current journalism that will probably always be with us. After all, who wants to read about how things are steadily improving day by day? I don't know about you, but I want some action in the news or I get bored. Here are some reasons why it's true, though, that racism is almost at an end here on Earth. Firstly, think of any aliens we might ever meet in the future. You can rest assured that they will think of any humans who we might fling into space as representative of our whole species, no matter what color, sex, or superficial surface characteristics they may contain. Secondly, 12 humans have so far walked on the moon. All of them were probably considered white males at the time, and most of those back at Mission Control would also have been considered white males. Now think of today when we never consider race or sex when recruiting astronauts or mission control scientists. All creeds and colors are welcome, and there is a pool now to draw from, from all creeds and sexes and colors to fill the ranks, unlike in the past. Now put yourself in the mindset of any one of those 12 moonwalkers. Not one ever considered or had to consider their race at the time that they did their mission. And when they looked back at Earth, they certainly saw themselves as representative of all of the species of humans on that blue planet. And of course they did represent all humans. Some might say they had the luxury of not having to think about their own race or sex or, sex or sexual orientation. Now, as a mental thought experiment, pretend to be one of those 12 moonwalkers. Why not take that same inheritance that they held in their hearts for yourself? Throw out all of your ideas for a moment about who owns the earth and just look back and take it in as your inheritance, which technically it 100% is, as much as anyone else on that planet, it belongs to you. Any king or rich person or famous person has no more claim to earth than you do, no matter what race or sex you are. You represent the earth, and you always will. Now, enjoy the adventure for the rest of your time on the moon as you bounce around without the gravity of race on your conscience ever again. You never need to think about it again. Just be you and carry that inheritance of being human and nothing else with you forever. It costs you nothing to free yourself this way. And it will also free up so much of your time and energy for the rest of your life. And in, in the end, this is the reality anyway. In another part of the thought experiment, you should Consider all of the science fiction writers out there and scientists who have always been ahead of the curve when it comes to race. When it comes to imagining our world and its future. Think of the crew of the original Star Trek series and how no one's race was ever a factor in doing their jobs. Now think of how close we are coming to that reality today. Today, the Star Trek franchise even includes women starship captains who are among their favorites of the, of the fans of that show. And almost all races have been representative as, as captains on ships in our science fiction TV and movies. We now have a non-white president, and our top scientific minds include people like Neil deGrasse Tyson, Top movie stars, sports figures, writers, singers, designers, and tycoons, and the heroes of today are all loaded with non-white icons from every race and sex. 
we are getting there beyond any shadow of a, of a doubt to that post-racial race, racial future world. Fourth in the thought experiment, I currently work at the Museum of Science and History here in Jacksonville, Florida, and we recently had a long-running exhibit called Race. This is how I first learned that there is, in fact, no such thing as race in science or in biology in us humans whatsoever. Earlier, I always thought there, there was probably some kind of difference in people from different parts of Earth, but it turns out when you take the brains from any representative population from any part of our planet, no matter how hard you look, there is no difference in that organ. Zero. And after all, in the end, your brain is you, and my brain is me. And the rest is just decorations covering up that glowing orb that is the brain, which is the essential you and me. Also, any people from any part of our planet can do whatever the brains from all other parts of our planet can do in science, the arts, and anything else when given the proper training. Finally, number five, all races are rapidly bleeding into more neutral tones, like the U2 song says, all colors are bleeding into one, or just a few. Since we now travel and marry across the planet so freely with, with one another, and the process is speeding up. There is more about all of this in the book, The Earthling Alien Chat Room. If you would like a transcript of this vlog or any others, please email me at braintrex1 at gmail.com. Thank you very much. I hope you have a pleasant day.